Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm making this video for the users of free accounting software to just show you guys how to install free accounting software on Windows computer. Um, so this is a, a Windows uh, fresh install. Um, all I've done is um, um, install Java and I did that by going to Internet Explorer and just searching for Java um, in fact um, it, it, you can download it um, it's recommending version 8 um, which is the one I'm doing all my testing on but there are two other versions 9 and 10 um, and it should work with those versions as well but I'd recommend going with 8 um, anyway I've in already installed that the other thing I've done is I've downloaded the um, FAS3 desktop application and just saved it on the desktop here. So, I mean, that is the application. You can just double click on it and use it. And um, in, you know, in this case, it's giving you an option to install it, or you can actually just skip the install and just use it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just that you'll have to. Um, double click on that um, um, icon with the coffee cup each time you want to use it um, anyway it's pretty easy to install um, you just click this install button and yep successfully install that was pretty quick um, it's going to restart with the installed version there we go um, and what that does is that gives you this um, F logo icon here that you can start up the application from as well as you can have the um, uh, applica the shortcut to the application in the um, in whatever they call this thing here um, now um, once you've uh, installed the um, application um, and started it um, it will um, prompt you to create an identity so let's just create that and a password so don't forget your password If you're a tax agent, you can put your tax agent details. In fact, you should put your tax agent details in there. If not, just leave it blank. And then click Create Identity. So you've created your uh, identity. The next thing you can do is create a file for your business. So let me just create one. I'll skip some of these details. So legal name and trading name. Free accounting software desktop goes for a actual financial year. If you're registered for GST, select yes, if not no and then save the file so just save it to the desktop in this case alright and then it just takes you to the business details page in fact there's an option here to put a few more details for your business um, which you should probably fill in um, at that stage there's probably various different things you might want to do um, but anyway just depends um, yeah so anyway um, um, one thing you might have noticed is it's creating these files it's it's sort of only doing that because I started it from my desktop um, they are sort of encrypted temporary files that it uses to make requests to the server so where we were creating the profile it was 
um, making a request to the server there. Um, but anyway, um, or the the or the data is stored on your desktop, but there are some some things like where you're dealing with free accounting software, it makes a request to our server. Um, anyway, if we exit that, those files being temporary files get deleted. Um, so from this point on, you don't really need that thing you've downloaded. You can um, um, just delete that. Oh, what is it now? Delete. Um, and when you want to start free accounting software, you can just double click on that icon or um, use the start menu option. When it starts up, it does a version check to see if there's a new version. And if there is a new version, you'll get the option to download and install it. Um, it shouldn't take real long to download. It's quite a small file um, because it uses Java. And so um, you've already got Java installed there. Um, in this case, it's detected my identity file is already there. And all I need to do is type in my password unlock and then open that um, business file that I previously saved. Okay and that's got me back to, um, to where I was before. So you, probably the first thing you want to do is create a counterparty um, um, and then you know so that you can enter some transactions or so on. In any case, um, that's probably all there is to um, to installing and, and getting started with free accounting software. So, um, thanks for watching.